Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Simply Learn. Today we will be learning how to install XAMPP server in Windows operating system. But before we begin, please be kind enough to get subscribed to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you can stay updated about the trending technologies in the current IT industry. Also, if you're looking for an online training and certification program on the latest technologies like data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence, or to master the cutting edge programming languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, etc., then please visit the Simply Learn official website to enroll, master and get certified. Now, without much ado, let us dive into our session. So the agenda for today's session is what exactly is XAMPP where we will have a briefing about the XAMPP software. Followed by that we shall go through the procedure for installing XAMPP in Windows. So I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's quickly begin with our first topic. What exactly is XAMPP? Well XAMPP is a one stop open source cross platform solution for multiple needs. In general, it is considered as a bundle of software utilities that include an Apache server, MySQL database, support for PHP and support for Perl. This simple and lightweight solution works on Windows, Linux and Mac, hence the cross-platform part. Now that we have a quick briefing about XAMPP, let us get started with the installation procedure. So installing XAMPP is really simple. All you need to do is just Google download XAMPP and you'll see the first link and just click onto it which will redirect you into the Apache website. Here you can see multiple varieties of XAMPP. The first one is for Windows, second is for Linux and the third one is for Mac. Now we will select the Windows version. So here we have the 7.2 version, 7.3 and 7.4. So I would suggest you to go with the latest version that is the 7.4. You just need to click on the download button and there you go. You can see on the bottom left corner that your software is getting downloaded. Now this might take a while so I have downloaded it on my local system previously. So let's get back to that and start our installation procedure just to save time. So I might want to cancel this. So let's get back to the download section and there you go. You can see the XAMPP software which is downloaded here. So all you need to do is just run it. So just provide the permission yes. Ignore this warning and just select OK. You can start the visit by clicking next. So here you can see multiple options for server, programming languages, etc. So you have the varieties of server such as Apache, MySQL, Firezilla, etc, Tomcat. You never know which one you might need in the future. So I would suggest you to just select all. And same goes for the programming languages. Just select next. So now you can see the next dialog box where you are asked to select the location for your software. So uh, it would be better if you select the default location that is C drive. Just select next and here you're asked to select the different languages for your control panel. So uh, let us select English. English is a default option here. Now let's click next. Again a next. And now your software is ready to get installed. Don't worry about this new web page which is popped up in your screen. Now let's get back to our setup file. Now let's just Select next to start with the installation and there you go. You can see that XAMPP is getting installed into your local system. Now this might take up a little while. All we need to do is just wait. Anytime now the installation will be finished. So there you go, the installation is completely finished now. You can just click on the finish button and the process will be finished. And there you go, you can see your XAMPP control panel on your screen. Let's maximize this for a better view. Yeah, that's good. Now you can see the modules on your control panel which are the Apache server, MySQL database, 
Firezilla server, Mercury server, Tomcat server. You can start any one of these. Let's get started with Apache first. To start that, all you need to do is just select the start button. And you can see the Apache has just got started. And you can see the first one was attempting the Apache app to be get started. And then you can see the Apache app status changed to running. Now you can see the process IDs of Apache server as well as the port number which is 80. Now you have an option of configuring your port numbers because what if in future you may need to start Tomcat and Apache server parallelly but in different port numbers. So to make sure that they don't interfere with each other you can configure them on different port numbers. To do so all you need to do is just open config and inside config choose the first option that is apache http d.conf just scroll to the bottom and now you can see the port number here so just let us change it to 3000 similarly here and now select the file option and save it now let's try to restart our apache server stop it and then again restart it and there you go you can see the change of the port number to 3000 and the process IDs which are 9620 and 9868 so this is how you install XAM server and this is the complete procedure to install XAM server into your Windows operating system and with this we have come to an end of this session I hope this was resourceful. If you have any queries regarding this session, then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to get subscribed to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay connected to us and get important updates based on the current IT. This is Ravi signing off. Thank you. Until next time. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.